everybody, it's me, Lily, and so today's video is going to be a birthday haul, and yes, I did turn 19 um, during October, and so this is going to be just like kind of everything that I've accumulated throughout the whole month of like having a birthday week and going shopping this week and going shopping, you know, the day after and just all the damage that was done to my wallet. And so here it is. I'm going to lay it all out. I have a lot of stuff to get through, so I might split this video into two parts and I also might do like a try on portion of this haul. Not really sure what I'm doing yet, but I have makeup, I have clothes, I have accessories, I have a pair of shoes, I have a lot of it. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is, I think what I'm going to show you guys is like the makeup portion of this haul. And yes, it all fits in this little Ulta bag, so I guess it's not that much for makeup, but I did get a few things. Um... The first thing that I got that I'm really excited about that my boyfriend actually got for me for my birthday is this Ulta Travel Brush Set. I believe this is the Face and Eyes set. And it comes with, it opens like this, and there's like these two foldy thingies in it. And it comes with a powder brush, which looks just like this. And I have other sets of these brushes so they're all like the same style which I really like. Um, it comes with a powder brush, a concealer brush which looks like this. If I can hold it up any clearer. I'm running out of room here to put stuff. Um, it also comes with this spoolie brush to brush out your eyebrows or you know lashes or whatever eyebrows probably. And then the angled part of the brush also. And it also comes with uh, just like a normal like uh, shader, shadow brush, um, a really nice blending brush, which is what I primarily wanted this set for was this blending brush. Like I can buy them separately, but like I needed another set anyways. And then also this like smaller foundation brush, which I probably won't use because I don't, I use a beauty blender. But anyway, so he got that for me, which I was really excited about. Um, these brushes are really nice and really good quality and they work really really well and I just really love the packaging and everything about it and I, f I think it was $58 for this set. I mean it was really the only present I got from him so to me it was good. I was happy with everything that I got and he was really happy that I liked it. And he also got me this just because it was like spur of the moment type of thing. We went there together and I got to pick it out. Um, he bought me this little foundation brush that I use kind of for my blush right now. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for. But it's in the shape of a heart. I don't know if you can... Can you see that? There's like a little indent right there. And it's like... It looks kind of like a peach. The peach emoji. The butt. But uh, it's really cute and it's pink and it's like this nice ombre. And I think it is for foundation, but I'm going to use it for something else. Something else that I picked up is I was running out of my... Becca, what is it? Moonstone highlighter. And so I saw this like little set um, near the checkout and this is in the shade Opal. And this is just like the, um, the highlighter. Oh, that's really bright. Sorry about that. Um, this is just the highlighter in Opal and it's really pretty. It's really, really pigmented. I have it on not today. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll just like add some more really fast. Whoa, that kind of made a big difference. Let me do it to the other side. Damn. And then it also came with the liquid version. So like, you know, has kind of like a concealer wand, but it's for highlight. So that's cool. I probably, I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical about using these guys. They don't really... I don't know. Like, I'm sure, I, I know they work for a lot of people, but for me personally, it's hard to, like, kind of be precise with this when you're blending it out. That's the only downfall that I have with, um, like, liquid highlighters or liquid bronzers or whatever kind of liquids there are. And then I also ordered, I needed a new brow pencil from ColourPop. These are the ones that I used, the shade Blondie. And I actually ordered two, um... But I wanted to get free shipping, so I ordered some other things, because I think it's only $35 to get free shipping. And I also ordered this um, Super Shock Cheek 
shadow, which, shadow, which is like one of their highlighters. Ooh, ooh, can you see that? Can you see it? It says ColourPop on it right there. And this is in the shade Lunch Money. And I, to be honest, like, the formula is really cool. It's like a gel, like it's a, I don't know what it is, honestly, but it's like cream. It's like creamy and like feels jelly when you swatch it, but when you look at it, you're like, oh, it's a powder. Hmm. And honestly, I was kind of disappointed with this one. It wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, but like, obviously like the Becca, like it's not going to be like that. So I think I was getting my hopes a little too high for that. And then I um, also picked up some of the lip shades. Um, these ones, ha ha ha. This one is the shade Lumiere. Lumiere. This is the, I believe there was a collab for this one. Kathleen Lights uh, made this color, which is probably my favorite out of all of them that I ordered. And um, it's just like this really nice kind of like dusty mauve color. Whoop. It's really pretty. I really love it. I really like the formula of the lippy sticks um, a lot better than the, what are these? The Ultra Matte Lip. These are really nice and pigmented, yes. Um, the smell is terrible. It kind of smells like chemicals, no joke. <laughs> yeah, it smells like chemicals. And um, I honestly don't think I'll be using these ever since I got them. They are really flaky when you wear them for, you know, six, eight hours at a time. Normally that's how long I wear my makeup for. Um, but I got the shades Times Square, Notion, Trap, and Thule. And Trap, that had, they actually sent to me on accident, so that one was free, which is also, you know, a plus. And I don't think I'm going to get rid of these. I just think that they're going to be kind of more for, like, taking pictures and, you know, maybe just for more fun looks. I'm not really sure. I don't really see myself using these a whole bunch now that I have them, which is kind of a waste, and it kind of really sucks, but... I think the next time I order my brow pencils, I will be getting more lippy sticks because I really like the formula and they last a long time, even though like you, you just think that they wouldn't like a $5 lipstick. You don't think it's going to last that long, but it does. And it really works and it's really pretty. So, I mean, what else am I going to show you guys? Uh, now we have to move on to the big stuff, the clothes. So the first thing I got that's kind of like clothes and accessories related is, um, is this little bow choker and I don't wear chokers but this one is just so cute look at this I think this was like three dollars from forever 21 and it's just adorable it's got like these little like bobbles right here that just hang down and it's just like a classic chain necklace um, and it like it kind of like sits a little bit so it kind of comes down a little more it's not like like you're choking yourself literally it's really nice I really like it this is the only choker I own so I'm proud to finally own a choker. Woohoo! Um, so I picked that up, which I think was about three dollars, and then I went. That was from Forever Twenty One. If I didn't say, hmm, I feel like I already did. Um, so next I got this just plain like brown long sleeve T-shirt because I don't have any long sleeves and it's really cold here where I live. And this was from Aeropostale, and they're actually or they were. Um, having like a giant like blowout sale because I uh, don't quote me on this they might be going out of business I don't know but everything was half off in the store and I just needed some basics and so I was like why not they're half off so this was like $12 for this really nice ribbed and it's not even see-through at all and it's so soft I wish I had like one in every color now obviously I can't go back because they're not half off anymore but it's just like a nice neutral brown color and I thought it would be really cute for fall um, and I also got a black one in this pile somewhere. Um, so that was from Aeropostale. Well, I guess I should just show stuff in order. Like, I'm just picking random stuff off my desk. I probably should do it in order, right, Lily? Yes. So the other one that I got is just black. Um, I actually, believe it or not, do not own a black long sleeve shirt. I own a turtleneck, which is long sleeve and black, but not just like a regular black long, like, long sleeve how many times did I just say long sleeve anyways so I have this and this one was also $12 really cute really soft ribbed which is really nice um, and then the last thing I got from Aeropostale is just another basic um, is a black cardigan and this one has pockets I believe yes yes it has pockets has these little pockets right here it's just like a normal black cardigan 
It's really cute. Um, this one was originally like a $50 cardigan and I got it, I guess it was on sale for half off, so like 24 bucks. And it's just really nice. The only other cardigan I have that's black right now is cropped and it's not very comfortable. I don't like to wear it. I don't wear it very often anymore. It's not very fashionable, so I thought this would kind of replace it. Um, so yeah, and I got it in a size small. Everything else is in a size small, those other shirts too. Um, so moving on from Aeropostale, uh, I guess I went to Ross for some of my birthday shopping and I picked up this t-shirt, which is, it doesn't say what size. I think this was a small. It should be either small or medium throughout the whole thing. Um, but I picked up this nice, like, what color is this? Olive shirt, and it's got, like, this crisscross action on the front. It's really cute, really light, like, lightweight, soft. It's not ribbed or anything, but it is very soft. It's from Ross, so it was, like, $6. And I just thought it was really cute. Definitely with, like, a bralette and, like, a necklace. Uh, like a crystal necklace or something like really cute really trendy so I picked that up and also at Ross I had found a bodysuit and this is the first bodysuit I have ever owned in my life probably I mean these are these classified as leotards too because I did gymnastics and that doesn't count so um and this one is on a size large because it was the only one they had and it actually fit really well I feel like a medium would have been like, it would have fit better, but it would have been a little bit see-through, I feel like. The material is kind of thin, so I'm glad that I sized up, like, two sizes, I guess. So, it's just, like, this lace-up. Um, and I, this is really hard to show. It's this lace-up bodysuit. It's really cute. I got this for $5 at Ross. And this one is ribbed, but see what I mean about, like, the whole see-through? Like, you see? You can see me. So... It's still kind of see-through, but I do wear it with like a black bra with like a strappy, strappy kind of action. I think it's really funny how these like are like little baby suits. Like I feel like I'm wearing a diaper when I wear a bodysuit. It's the weirdest feeling, but I'm getting really into them. I have another one that I'm going to show you in just a minute, but that was $5 at Ross. Um, something else that I picked up at Ross is this fringe purse. And this was $15, I believe. It does have like a an extra strap if I can find it with all the fringe it does like have a shoulder bag strap so you can like you know this way this way but I just thought like the detailing was really cute in the handles and it's just kind of like a dump bag like I just like to dump stuff in here it's really big thought it would be really trendy for fall it's really cute it's maroon it's not really like anything I have I only have a black purse and a brown purse and they're both kind of like you know seeing their end of days so I thought this would be really cute replacement at least for the fall and winter until it get back it gets back into like a warmer season or I can change it out with something smaller not have as many items with me um and then the last thing I got at Ross is try not to show you guys um what is this this is how would I even describe this it's kind of like a sweater that's very descriptive as the sweater with like a cowl neck type of situation up here but it doesn't have sleeves it is just like open right here and it is shorter in the front longer in the back it's really cute it's really soft I wore this already um Mm, when did I wear this? I wore this already a couple of times. I just paired it with that black long sleeve that I just showed you guys underneath and then my new fringe um, handbag. Um, a pair of leggings because it is long in the back. It does cover my butt so I do wear it with leggings or jeans. It doesn't really matter. And then it's just kind of like this little sweater. And then the shoes that I'm about to show you guys. So the shoes I have are kind of like the main... This is like the main ticket item right here are these like sort of like high platform heels this is something really strange for me to like you know want to buy or you know kind of gravitate towards but I know there's a really in like in style right now really trendy and they're really really comfortable the only thing I have to say is that walking in these is does take some getting used to um, and also like the inside of it is not very comfortable like this part right here rubs against my foot so bad can you even see it like this part right here rubs against my foot and like 
my ankle so bad that it like started bleeding so I think I might have to wear these with socks even though that kind of defeats the purpose because I want to wear these with like I don't know things to kind of like show my ankle a little bit you know a little bit of skin and so this I mean I don't know I'm gonna have to figure something out because I'm definitely gonna wear them with like low socks and high socks so we're just gonna have to see how these work but they are um, these are in a size 9 because they do run small um, and this is by the brand Bull Boxer. I got these at DSW, I think, for, they were originally $50, but I had a $10 off coupon. So I only paid $40 for these really cool, like, trendy in-style boots, which I really, really love, and they're, like, a staple to my wardrobe now. Um, the next thing I got is from, let's do Papaya now. Um, it's from Papaya, and this was actually $3, this shirt. It's really cute. It kind of gives me, like, some... American Horror Story Coven type of vibes like this little sheer crop top is really cute it's in a size small I believe small yes small this was originally a $16 top and they had discounted it from it went from $16 to $12 to $8 to $3 so someone really did not want this shirt but I found it really enjoyable and really cute especially with like layered under a like with a black bralette under it it's really adorable, really good for like summertime, even if you, st and there's like a giant V in the back. It's really cute. But really good for summertime with the same boots, like ripped up jeans, and then the hat I'm about to show you guys. So, I also got from Papaya this, another uh, bodysuit. And this one is in like a mustard orange color, which I really, really love. And this is like a great fall color. I'll probably only wear it in the fall maybe I won't even get to wear it soon I don't know it's got these little like details up front and it's just like these uh, like quarter length sleeves they kind of go past three quarters but they're not long sleeves so they're like right in between it's really comfortable it's ribbed and I got this one in a medium because I wanted more cleavage so I wanted it to come down more so I got it in a medium um, and then the last thing I got from papaya and that was ten dollars and the last thing I got from Papaya was another $3 shirt. This one is kind of summery also. It's a tank top. And it just kind of gave me, like, extreme sailor vibes. Like, this, like, little tiny little cute tunic style. I don't know. It's just really cute. It's also ribbed. This wasn't a large because I don't know why it's in a large. It fits, like, a small. I think it's just the straps that are really, really long. But this is great to wear with, like, a white bralette underneath and just, like, kind of casual vibes, maybe like a little tiny neck, like delicate necklace, um, like black shorts, I don't know, something kind of like beachy wear. I thought it was really cute, so I got, picked that up for $3. And then I also, the rest of this stuff I think is from Forever 21. Oh wait, there's Victoria's Secret too. God damn it, there's so much stuff. And then, so I'll show you what I got from Victoria's Secret. I picked up this long sleeve, um, just like really basic tee. It just says pink in the corner right here. It's like this nice mauvey, mauvey pink color. And this was $20. These are their like select tees. Like, I don't know. They were having a sale for $20 for these shirts. And this covers my ba blah, 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 backside, my butt, which is really important for me because I have a big butt. And anyone who knows me knows that it's really hard for me to find shirts that are like tunic style so this I thought was a really good investment I kind of want one in every color now which is a bad habit Lily don't do that and then <laughs> um, kind of to go with this shirt I got matching pants because I don't own any like Victoria's Secret leggings or any kind of like pant from them and so these are high-waisted ones and there's like a little symbol right here that just says pink can you see it can you see it and then if you fold these over like not into high-waisted pants the pink symbol on the back shows too, so like either way, they look like presentable to wear. And these are just like, like heathered gray with like the stripe. Can you even see the stripe? The stripe on the side. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Oh my god, showing clothes is so hard. Um, so it just has this stripe on the side right here, and I thought it would be really cute with that shirt because I didn't want to buy a set because sets are like. I don't know. I like to make my own, so I kind of like made my own set with this, and they're actually really cute together, especially with my, like, brown Uggs and, like, ugh, total white girls, Starbucks, coffee, whatever, and so I think the pants were $60 and the top was $20, so 
kind of spent a lot of money on two things, but you know, gotta have quality stuff. Quality over quantity, which does not explain this haul. <laughs> um, and so something else I got from Forever 21 was just like a plain black pencil skirt. This one is kind of longer. It's not like a mini skirt. I kind of wanted a midi, um, just because I feel like um, again, uh, girls with big butts, uh, you understand that skirts ride up really bad and really easily too. And it's not fun to deal with because then you're constantly thinking about the skirt. You're constantly wondering, oh, how high is it? Can people see my underwear? Like underwear lines, blah, blah, blah. And I just didn't want to have any deal. Like I just didn't want to deal with it. So I just got a midi skirt. I thought it would be really cute for fall, like with long sleeve shirts and stuff like that. And just like a little bit more classy, you know, you know. And something else I got from Forever 21 is this, like, olive colored turtleneck. It's not really a turtleneck, it's just high collared, um, shirt. And it, the sleeves are really, really long. I don't know why. But it's really cute. It has, like, this crisscross action. Sorry, this is gonna have, I'm gonna have to show all the clothes like this. Because I'm, like... <laughs> in the way there we go so it has like this crisscross detail right here and it's really like it only like goes right below my boob I have to wear it with um like a black bralette or something like that to kind of like give it a little bit more detailing at the bottom too because you don't want it to just be skin and like have like an accidental like you know your boob popped out Ooh, like you don't want that to happen so this was in a size small um, it's really cute with like a, uh, like a high-waisted maxi skirt, a black one, and um, I just think it's really adorable. I've already worn it with the boots and the high-waisted maxi skirt and this hat I'm about to show you that I keep talking about. I'm sorry. Um, I guess I'll just show it to you right now. So the hat that I've mentioned is just like this black, like, felt hat, wool, felt, wool, I think it's wool. It's a wool hat, and it's really cute. I think I paid, this was probably the most expensive item that I bought. This was $17.90 from Forever 21, and it's just like a classic black hat. Uh, I was going to wear it in today's video, but obviously my hair is not cooperating. And it just kind of gives me like some, again, like American Horror Story coven vibes. This is so cute. Second to last thing that I got is this dress and it is again an off the shoulder type of dress it looks really really skinny here but it's just kind of a long like midi dress and it is off the shoulder I think this one was $23 um, it's really stretchy though and I got it in a size small um, the last thing that I got and I have to make this really quick because my camera is overheating dying all that stuff getting filled up so the last thing I got, and I know some people are really going to hate me for this, or they're going to think it's really ugly, but I really like it. And personally, I bought it as a, like, as a statement piece, and I got this in a size small. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, give this video a like, and I'll see you later. Bye! Mm, 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 mm. Oh, mm, okay.